Greetings, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Dear God, Why Am I Doing This? Also known as Insanian Taste Test. This week, I'm having some rotisserie chicken, potatoes, and gravy! Flavored candies. Yeah, that's, that's actually a thing. My friends Matt and Tara got me rotisserie chicken flavored candy canes and gravy candies for Christmas. Very thoughtful of them. And while out, I found a potato spud candy bar from Aoyihi. Aoyihi. O-W-Y-H-E-E. -E. Don't know how to pronounce that. But it is the candy bar that made Idaho famous. Evidently. Idaho Candy Company. It is an Idaho Spud candy bar. So let's try the main course first. And go with our rotisserie chicken flavored candy canes. Ah. Archie McPhee. Rotisserie chicken flavor. These sound like food. Maybe. Now, if you remember the video from from around Christmas time, you know I'm not a big fan on candy canes as it is. And having them taste like chicken is that's just weird. All in the name of science do I do this show. Science and making me look stupid. Whatever. Now, as you can see, it is brown and yellowish colored, I suppose, for the white meat and the dark meat, or something. Oh, man. Candy canes are also not ever easy to get into. We find a way. Am I actually smelling some rotisserie chicken before I bring it to my face? Oh, God. Oh god, it smells like a baked poultry. Uh, here we go. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. That tastes like chicken. It's not a phrase I ever expected to say on this show, but... There you are. I don't know how to feel about that. I have no words. This actually tastes like a rotisserie chicken. It's weird, man. Well, all right. Rotisserie chicken candy canes. As it says on the tin. Good job, Archie McPhee. Ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, water, artificial chicken flavor. I'll be damned. Next, now that we've had the main course, let's have a side dish. The Idaho Spud Candy Bar. Now this, this feels like the small potato. That's not how I expected that to look. There is... There's just stuff falling off of it. That... It smells like coconut. And there's definitely chocolate on it. It looks like coconut. But underneath the chocolate... Is that a potato? Is that a potato? I don't know. But, uh... I'm gonna try a piece of this chocolate with what appears to be coconut on it, considering the smell. That's what I'm assuming it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. Coconut. Third ingredient. Cocoa powder, chocolate liqueur. Is it supposed to be shaped like a potato? Let's find out if it's a potato. That filling is soft. It's not like... It's like a nougat. This is the softest candy bar I've ever held. And it's not like it melted or anything. It's just, it's just soft. Just coconut falling everywhere. 
Well, it doesn't taste like a potato, which, okay. It just doesn't taste like I expected it to taste. I didn't expect the coconut and chocolate because I didn't read the back. I just expected, here's a potato, eat it. For those of you that might watch other videos, I felt like friend Aaron playing Doki Doki Literature Club. All the potatoes. But no. No potatoes at all, in fact. Just weird nougaty something. It's not bad, actually. It's not a bad candy bar. I mean, if you don't mind it crumbling in your face or before you eat it. But the soft center is quite tasty. It's like chocolate of some kind. I don't know what that is. Doesn't smell like a potato. Doesn't taste like a potato. Doesn't quack like a duck. Well, that was unexpected. However, I think my final treat will be, again, just what it says on the tin. Gravy candy. Again, by Archie McPhee. And since he was so good with the, with the chicken, his gravy candies will be gravy. The only things it says on this are gravy candy tastes like gravy. Tasty, lumpy, sweet, delicious. Oh dear. They're individually wrapped, too, so if you want to do horrible things to your friends, you can have them ready without the tin. This crazy-looking gravy man. I don't know what to make of that. It's pictures of ladles. And here we have your individually wrapped sweets. Gravy sweets. I like weird things. Weird foods fascinate me. And making some foods taste like other foods is also a thing that, sure, that's a thing that exists. I'm one of the only people I know who actually likes the popcorn flavored jelly beans. I think those are great. And they're amazing to me because they taste exactly like popcorn. So to have one food taste like another is interesting to me. This kind of frightens me though. And I haven't even tried it yet. Let's try it. If I can get into the damn wrapper. Very unassuming. No scent whatsoever. Here we go. Gravy candy. I'm not really getting a gravy flavor. It's melting a little, but it's just kind of a bland candy. It doesn't really taste like gravy, but it doesn't really taste like anything. That one's a little disappointing. Archie McPhee, come on, you had me fooled. Your chicken candy canes taste like chicken. This does not taste like gravy. And yet you claim it on the label. Tastes like gravy. Nope. Can't really bite into it yet. Very solid. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just weird. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Maybe leave me a comment in the section below letting me know if you like what I try, or tried it yourself, or have anything that you might want to see me try. And please, of course, you can always support me on Patreon so I can make more of these videos. Check out other videos there too, including making of, behind the scenes, stuff on my music videos, whole bunch of other stuff there. And you can always check out previous videos in the playlists. Thanks very much, and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye! For all this candy, I don't actually need a meal now. I've had a meal in sweets. My dentist is not going to believe that, nor my dietician. <laughs>